Hello friends. Today I want to talk to you about LGBTQ hate and the hate shown to LGBTQ churches. We arrived at church this morning as we usually do on a Sunday and we attend an open and affirming congregation here in Nashville, Tennessee. And sadly, our window, one of our windows was busted out. Here's the picture. A cinder block was thrown through this window. Now, this could just be regular vandalism that does occur at some churches. But what I find odd is that a few weeks ago, our church was slammed on YouTube by an expose done by a prominent YouTuber. Here's his video. What's up guys and welcome to a brand new YouTube video. Today we are going to another gay church and gonna talk to them about their doctrine. Now that video has over 138,000 views on YouTube. And we've gotten comments, we've gotten slammed on uh, Google reviews and other things. Now, I'm sure this YouTuber didn't expect this to happen, but this is what happens when people come out. Now, this video isn't for, isn't just for my LGBTQ friends, it's for my conservative Christian friends, and I have quite a few who follow me on various social media sites. This is what the hate that you espouse does. Now, you might say, well, no Christian, no true Christian acts like that. And I might agree with that sometimes. However, these slam videos you do, this derogatory information that you put out, these lies that you spew, like this creator did in their video, they called us a mega church in their video. We're far from that. Mega churches have thousands and thousands of people. We're far from that. We're a growing church, we're a growing congregation, but we don't have that many people. This is what happens when you spread hatred. This is what happens when you spread lies. Other people see it and they come out and they think it's okay for them to attack our buildings. They think it's okay for them to attack LGBTQ folks. They think it's okay to let their hatred go out. Now we as Christians, even if we are open and affirming, we as Christians believe we should pray for those who persecute us. We should pray for those who seek harm. But we also believe in justice. And these things need to stop. This hatred needs to stop. So if you're a Christian watching this and you consider yourself a conservative evangelical Christian, you should be speaking out against this hatred. You should be speaking out against these attacks against the LGBTQ community. You should be speaking out against violence against the LGBTQ community. The attack on trans people, the attack on lesbian and gay people. You should be speaking out about that. If you're a follower of Jesus, if you believe in the teachings of Jesus, if you believe Jesus is the Son of God, then you must believe these words, blessed are the peacemakers. You should believe these words, love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, and strength, and your neighbor as yourself. And neighbor is a very, very broad term. Attacks like these are wrong, and this violence is evil. And followers of Christ are called to speak out against this violence. I hope this resonates with you. I hope the Spirit of God speaks to your heart and calls you to show love care and kindness to your LGBTQIA siblings and neighbors. God bless.